Hey guys, and welcome to the start of our Shanxi Times segment. If you guys watched our show yesterday, you'll remember we talked about the Qinzhi Dao, which was the first highway ever to be built in the world by Emperor Qin Shi Huang over 2,200 years ago. We also talked about a field of researchers gathering together to investigate this highway. The investigative reports mentioned that the main reason Qin Shi Huang built this road was because he wanted to travel around the world. I mean, that shouldn't come as a surprise considering this guy built a whole army for his afterlife. And of course, back then, the world was a lot smaller than it is now. This wasn't the only reason he built it, though. Researchers found out that it was also built to defend the Qin people from the Hun people, who were the enemies from the northwestern regions. Qin Zhi Dao literally means the straight road belonging to Qin country, and recently, experts have confirmed where the road starts and where the road ends. It starts in Xianyang City in Shanxi province and ends up in Jiuyuanjun, which is now Baotou City in Inner Mongolia. Now, the interesting thing is, there has been a lot of confusion about the road, and a few debates have arisen because of it. Archaeologists have found another road that starts in Xianyang City and ends in Jiuyuanjun, but it veers east through the Gansu province. Now, the issue is, it doesn't match up with the history books, but there were many relics along the road that have caused people to believe that, in fact, this is the real Qin Shi Dao. So on one side, you've got the history books backing you up, and on the other side, you've got relics to prove otherwise. Interesting, huh? Well, in other news regarding this road, the Chinese government is planning to nominate Qin Zhi Dao as a candidate to go on the World Cultural Heritage List. A couple of years ago, this road became a national heritage site, meaning that more funding has gone into research there, and archaeologists have said that because most of the road is located in remote areas, everything is still very well preserved. They're hoping that since this is the case, the chance of becoming a part of the World Cultural Heritage List can be a real possibility. Guys, for our next piece of news, I'm not sure if I should report it as good news or as bad news. The good news is three silk paintings about Fu Xi, a new Wa from the Tang Dynasty, were unearthed from a very high-level Tang Dynasty mausoleum. Bad news is they were unearthed by a thief who came to steal high-priced relics. Now, it's nice we found these, these pieces, but it's a very unorthodox way of doing so. The thief actually tried to sell them on the black market, but got caught by the police. Of course, the policemen turned them in, and these awesome paintings will be up soon at a museum.